Good morning, afternoon, evening, everyone. Uh, my name is Raman Trudler, and I'm the product manager for Vibration Controllers for Data Physics. And today I'm going to be presenting the vibration uh, acquisition with uh, the Quattro hardware to, directly to MATLAB uh, or LabVIEW or any C application. Uh, this presentation is going to focus mostly on uh, acquiring directly to MATLAB, uh, and I'm going to go through and uh, give you an overview and give a presentation or give a demo uh, using MATLAB to acquire data directly with the Quattro. So as I said, the agenda, uh, gonna do an overview of the Quattro and then a overview of this API, and then uh, actually jump into the live demo, which is gonna take the majority of time here. As many of you are familiar with, the Quattro hardware has uh, up to four inputs, uh, two, three or four inputs, up to two outputs. Uh, and is powered directly from USB, so no no external power cables uh, other than the USB that connects to your computer, so it makes it extra portable. And uh, you get about 120 to 150 dynamic range, dB of dynamic range. Uh, the uh, uh, the sample rates, I didn't have it on here, but it's uh, the Quattro supports up to 204 kilohertz uh, in sampling. So traditionally and historically, our Quattro has always been paired with our SignalCalc 240 or SignalCalc 900 software. Uh, but this uh, is an application, this is a, an API that lets you integrate the uh, Quattro acquisition uh, and uh, in sending a signal through the Quattro output into your own application. Uh, so you don't have to interface through SignalCalc, you're dealing directly with the Quattro hardware itself. So the API, uh, the, the biggest, uh, the biggest thing that uh, amount of work we put into is making this API easy to use. Uh, all you have to do is install the Quattro driver, and then uh, you can. Uh, we have sample MATLAB, LabVIEW, uh, or C-based application examples that can get you up and running pretty easily. And I'm going to go over the MATLAB one later to, uh, in this presentation. The API lets you configure the measurement parameters, such as the sample rate or the internal buffer size, directly within the application. And once you tell the Quattro to start recording, it'll keep measuring data in the background uh, without preventing MATLAB from doing other data processing or plotting or, or whatever have you. And it'll just acquire data in the background. And at any time, you can come in and say, I want the most recent five seconds of data, or I want uh, data from the last time uh, I requested data from, uh, from you. And it'll, it'll keep track of all of that. And uh, it's a very seamless way to pass time data acquired from the Quattro into your own application. So with that, I'm going to switch directly into MATLAB here. And I, uh, as I mentioned, this is just the MATLAB example. We also have a LabVIEW example provided and a C, C++ example provided. Uh, and this will work with any C-based application. Uh, it's a set of DLLs that, uh, that you can use in any application that can load C DLLs. So I'm just going to give a quick overview. I know. Uh, MATLAB code can get pretty tedious, but I'm just going to give a quick overview. Um, this is the demo uh, using this into in a script, and uh, the, I'm going to highlight here the the portions that are actually pertinent to the Quattro, um, which is sort of you know the, the difficulty level in getting it up and running. Um, so it starts out. Um, we we have provided a MATLAB class uh, that. Not going to go through here, but this MATLAB class basically handles all the tedious details. Um, so you just have to instantiate it here. And here I'm setting up my input channels. So I'm deciding my input channels, number of input channels, the uh, the coupling. The Quattro supports AC, DC, single ended, and differential, as well as ICP coupling. So in this example, I have I'm connecting two ICP sensors to my first two channels, and two um, my last two channels are just going to be measuring voltage with AC differential. Um, and then the voltage range of the input channels, I'm just setting them to plus or minus 10 volts, and the sensitivity of my input channels. So typically for an accelerometer, your millivolt per G value, or volts per G value in this case. Um, I'm also going to be using an output channel in this demo. Uh, so I'm just going to be using one of the Quattro's output channels, the sense range of the output channel, the sensitivity of the output channel. Uh, the Quattro. Uh, the API provides you a list of the available sample rates, so I'm selecting the first from that list here. And uh, the buffer length, this is one of the uh, uh, one of the 
features in the APIs, you can choose the internal buffer length. This is a 64-bit application, so you can have arbitrarily long buffers. And these buffers basically decide how long in time or how long, how many samples uh, we are going to store. So if you if you set your buffer length to be to correspond to uh, you know one hour, then the Quattro is going to be recording for one hour before it starts overwriting data. And at any point in time, I can come in and, and request that one hour or the most recent one minute of data or however many samples of data that I want from either the, the most recent or the oldest. OK, so I'm just setting all those parameters here. Um, and then uh, I'm moving on to initialize my Quattro, connect to it, initialize the test, and start the test. And that's all you have to do. The Quattro is running. From then on, uh, I'm going to skip over most of this code here because most of this is just dealing with plotting uh, in MATLAB. Uh, but these Quattro object sections here are where I'm actually interacting with the Quattro. So this little section here is um, providing data to the outputs. So if you're familiar with MATLAB, you can see I'm just generating a sweeping sine wave here and sending that data to the output channel with this put data command. And then the next section here, I'm acquiring data from the input channels. So I'm checking how much data is available in the input channels and then requesting that amount of data for the Quattro. And then the rest of this is all just plotting, just, just MATLAB routines to plot, um, and then stop and end the test. Now, the one, one uh, important factor here, I'm running this in a while loop for 20 seconds, uh, but the important factor here is while the Quattro is acquiring data, MATLAB isn't tied up. It's not like MATLAB is, is holding, waiting for a command to finish. Uh, it's running in the background while MATLAB keeps going, and you're free to plot or do other data processing or, or you know, run a MATLAB GUI. Um, so I'm going to run this script real quickly. I am generating a sweeping sine wave and putting that into input channel three. So let me start by running this and connecting to my Quattro. Okay. Initialize the test. I'm familiar with the Quattro. I now have my LEDs turned on on my Quattro. And I'm going to start the test and then start my plotting. So here you can see I, I, that sine wave that I'm outputting is being recorded on one of my input channels. And it's just doing this in a loop until I get to 20 seconds and it's going to stop. So with very little bit of code, I'm able to, to acquire data, plot data, and uh, it acquires data in the background. Um, I can drive the Quattro output channel. Uh, right now, I, I should mention I have the Quattro output teed back to one of my inputs. So that's why we're seeing the sine wave that I generated. Uh, and all that's you know, we're able to do that all with just a few lines of code, um, uh, very few lines of code that actually are dealing with configuring the Quattro or setting it up and getting it up and running. All right, the second thing de demo I'm going to show is a uh, a MATLAB demo that is a MATLAB app. Uh, so this is sort of MATLAB's newer uh, uh, version of a, of a GUI is is through a MATLAB app. So this is this. Uh, this MATLAB app is, is another, uh, is, is just a simple GUI that's also provided if you purchase the, the API, but it just lets you configure the Quattro, set the sample rate per channel. So I'm going to configure channel one and channel two to be ICP with 10 volt range. Channel two, enable ICP 10 volt range. And I've got two accelerometers connected to my Quattro um, on channel one and two. Initialize, it's connecting to the Quattro, and start. And so this app just continually reads data from the Quattro every uh, every 100 milliseconds or so, plots the time domain in the top and the frequency domain in the bottom. And so if I just give a couple taps on my plate that my accelerometers are connected to, you can see the time and frequency domain signals updating. So this is just the most basic example of using the Quattro in MATLAB. Uh, it's very few lines of code to get this up and running, and the uh, end result is you can stream your time data directly to MATLAB and and do whatever, run whatever algorithms on them that you uh, that you want to run. So this completely circumvents the uh, the need to uh, you know record data in an external application and and export it and import it into MATLAB. All right, with that, I'm going to. Uh, end this presentation. Uh, thanks for attending and uh, any more questions, please reach out to uh, uh, myself, uh, Raman Shridharan at dataphysics.com or your local data physics rep.
Uh, and you can find a lot more information on our products at dataphysics.com.